Hello friends, this video on arithmetic progressions part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. Let's take home example, find the number of terms in each of the following APs. In this AP, we have to find the number of terms. If you see this AP, difference is 6, 13 minus 7, 6. 19 minus 13 is 6. So A is equal to 7, known to us, and D is equal to 6 is known to us. And this is the last term, right? So A n is equal to nothing but A plus n minus 1 D. Same formula I will use. A is nothing but 7 plus n minus 1 into D is 6. And A n the last term is 205 given to us, right? So n minus 1 is nothing but 205 minus 7 by 6, correct? That is 198 by 6, that is 33. So n is nothing but 34. So this is 34th term. This is 34th term. So this is the last term. We will say they are 34 term in the correct. Very simple. We had a n, we had a, we have d, we have to find the value of n. In this example, we have to check whether the number is part of AP or not. We have to check whether minus 150 is a part of this AP. In this AP, if you see the difference is uh, minus 3, because 5 minus 8 is minus 3, 2 minus 5 is minus 3. So we know d is equal to minus 3 and the first term is 11, right? a is equal to 11. These two things we know, a is equal to 11 and d is equal to minus 3. Now you can use the formula a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. We will use this value of a n is equal to minus 150 and a is equal to 11 and n we have to find and d is equal to minus 3. If we get some integer value of n that means if we get some integer value of n that means 150 is part of the CV. If we don't get any integer value, if we get some uh, fractional value in that case this is not part of AP. That is minus 150 is not part of AP. So let's try to find the value of n. So n minus 1 is nothing but minus 150 minus 11 by minus 3. Correct? That is minus 161 by minus 3 minus minus cancel. That is 161 by 3 or n is equal to 161 by 3 plus 1. That is 164 by 3. This is a fractional value because this is not divisible by 3. So we can see that since n came out to be a fractional value, minus 150 is not part of AP. Very simple. See, generally, if n would have come, come on, n would have been an integer like 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, in that case, we could have told that minus 150 is part of AP because we know that the rule is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d where n is some integer correct now the value of n that came out to be was fractional number non integer so we can say that 150 is not part of AP. minus 150 is not part of we have to find the nth term we have to find 31st term of ap whose 11th term is 38 and 16th term is 23 that is a 11 that is nothing but a plus 10 d is equal to 38 a 16 that is a plus 15 d is equal to 73 we know these two and from this we have to find 30 31st term that is a 31 that is a plus 30 d correct if you find the value of a and d we got the answer since we have two equations you can subtract these two equations when you subtract these two equations this is just nothing but linear equation in two variables we have two equations we have to find the value Subtract these two equations, we get 5d or minus 5d is equal to minus of 35 or we get d is equal to 35 by 5 that is 7. We have got the value of d. We can put this in any equation to get the value of a. a plus 10 into 7 is equal to 38 or a is equal to 38 minus 70 that is minus 30. So we have the value of a and we have the value of d. Now we can put in this equation that is a is equal to minus 32 plus 30 into 
7 7 is the value of d that value comes out to be minus 32 plus 210 plus 210 and that is nothing but 178 and that is my answer so 30 first term is 178 very simple we have two equation a11 and a16 we have written this in this form we have got linear equations in two variables two equation solve the equation to get the value of d and a we found d is equal to 7 and a is equal to minus 32 now we have a and d we have put this value of a and d in this equation a31 is nothing but a plus 31 minus 1 that is 30 d and we got the let's take one more example if third and ninth term of ap are 4 and minus 8 which term of ap is there? So here also with these two equations we have to find a and d first that is a3 is equal to a plus 2d is equal to 4 a9 is equal to a plus a d is equal to minus a. So these two values we have equation we have from this let's find the value of from this let's find the value of a and d subtract these two equations we get 6d is equal to minus 12 subtracting this from this or we get d is equal to minus 2. Once we have got the value of d is equal to minus 2, we can put it in the equation. Let's put in the first equation. We get a plus 2 into d, that is minus 2, is equal to 4, or a is equal to 4 plus 4, that is a. So we have the value of a, we have the value of d. Now the question is which term of ab is 0? Any term of ab is nothing but an is equal to a plus n minus 1d. And now it's saying that an is equal to 0. 0 is equal to a is equal to 8 plus n minus 1 d. We have to find the value of n. Correct. Minus 8 by minus 2 is equal to n minus 1. Or we get n is equal to this becomes 4 plus 1. That is 5. So fifth term of a b is 0. See here also very simple. We have thus two equation a3 and a9 is equal to this. We have two linear equations, we found the value of a and d. Once we have the value of a and d, we know the AP perfectly. Now we use the equation a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. Question says the term a n term is 0. So we said a n is equal to 0 and we found the value of n. n came out to be 5. Let's take one example. If the 17th term of AP exceeds the 10th term by 7, find the common difference. So the question says a 7 minus a 10 is equal to 7. It is 17 term of AP exceeds the 10th term by 7. A7 is nothing but A plus 16D, right? Minus A plus 9D, correct? 10th term is equal to 7. A, A cancel. What you got? 16 minus 9, that is 7D is equal to 7. Or you get D is equal to 1. And that is what my question is asking. It's asking me to find a common. Very simple, a7 minus a10 is equal to 7, just use the formula, a17 is equal to a plus 17 minus 1 that is 16d and a10 is equal to a plus 10 minus 1 that is 9d. And we have got 7d is equal to 7 that is d is equal to 1. Correct. Let's take one more example. Which of the term of AP 3, 15, 27, 39 will be 132 more than 54th term? The question is which of the term of AP will be 132 more than 54th term. So first let's find the 54th term. Then you add 132. And then that will become AN. We have to find the value of N. Correct? The question says you have to find the 54th term, A54. You add 132 in that. And then you get AN. We have to find the value of N. First let's find the AP. To find the AP, we have to find the value of A and D. A is 3. We can see. So we'll say. A is 3. Value of D, subtract this and this. 15 minus 3, 12. 27 minus 15, 12. 39 minus 27, 12. So D is equal to 12. I have these two values. Correct. Now let me find A54. A54 is nothing but A plus 53D. Correct. That is nothing but 3 plus 53 into 12. Correct. That is nothing but 3 plus 6, 36. And that is nothing but 6, 39. This is the value of A4. Now, An is nothing but An is nothing but 132 plus A4, A54. That is nothing but 132 plus 639. 
that is nothing but 771 an is equal to 771 we have to find the value of o very simple an is equal to a plus n minus 1d correct or 771 is equal to a is 3 here given upon plus n minus 1 d is 12 12 or we can say n minus 1 is equal to 771 minus 3 by 12 correct so it, it turns out to be 64 right because this is 768 by 12 that is 64 so we can say n minus 1 is 64 or n is equal to 64 plus 1 65 so 65th term of this AP will be 132 more than 54th term that is the answer very simple first we have understood the question the question says 54th term plus 132 is equal to an and we have to find the value of an we have found a and d then we have found a54 and then on that we added 132 to get an an came out to be 771 and then we used the formula to find the value of n and n came out to be 61 thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again